Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? You know, I know that <clears throat> the Bible talks about man will want to climb into the heavens. And I realize that the spirit of the Illuminati or the spirit of Nimrod, the mighty hunter, back in the days of the Tower of Babel, God had to confound the languages of humanity or they would climb into the heavens. Well, they've never stopped trying. And not only is NASA planning on trying to build a colony on the moon and on Mars, but they're even looking at having a floating city above Venus. Matter of fact, here's what's been reported. What might look like the cockpit of a floating ship on Venus, this airship, NASA has plans to live on Venus. Seriously, are you serious, NASA? Well, they are. In fact, up in the clouds above the scorching surface of Venus is probably the most Earth-like environment that's out in space, according to Chris Jones of NASA, and he told Evan Ackerman at IEEE -E -E Spectrum. Now, forget Mars and its frigid temperatures and thin atmosphere where we can live like gods afloat in the clouds of Venus. Doesn't it sound like Satan is trying to bring people into his domain? He is the prince of the power of the air. Well, Jones is part of a space mission analysis branch of NASA's systems anal uh, analysis and concepts detority, uh, directive of Langley Research Center in Virginia. The research group recently unveiled a certain plan, detailed to eventually set up a permanent residence on Venus. The mission is called High Altitude Venus Operational Concept, or HAVOC. We've reached out to NASA, uh, Business Insider has, but they have not called back. Now, right now, Havoc is just an ideal on the drawing boards at NASA, but if fully implemented, it would create floating cities above the surface of Venus. And I've got some pictures here. This is kind of what they're thinking. Airships floating above the clouds in an atmosphere that would be very similar to Earth. It would actually be the temperatures above the clouds uh, up out on Venus is 160 degrees and the pressures are just about like sea level. Now, if you go down on the face of Venus, the, the, it's, it's so hot it can melt lead. Matter of fact, uh, Russia did get one of their probes to land on Venus back in 1981 and it lasted just two hours and seven minutes. And then the little spacecraft, uh, it melted. The little spacecraft, it just couldn't handle it. And that's actually a picture that the uh, little probe took of the, uh, in its adventure up there. So anyway, this is a realistic, futuristic endeavor that NASA is trying. So let's let's stop for a minute and ask ourselves, what is going on here? I mean, NASA said they announced this two weeks ago when they uh, launched the uh, spacecraft. Uh, this this spacecraft when it went up, it was supposed to. Uh, it's going to go up there and it's going to analyze Mars. That's the beginning process of building colonies on the Moon and on Mars to save mankind, to save humanity. This is the announcement that NASA themselves made two weeks ago. So what is taking place right now, folks, is a push to move man off Earth. Why is mankind so concerned about getting off this Earth? What is it that NASA knows? Rumors are Planet X or Planet 7X or Nubiru, something big planet that's blocked by the sun is coming. There is waves, tsunami-like waves of energy that are being felt and being tracked by Voyager 1 and by other 
uh, spacecrafts that we have up in the space. So what's going on? What's coming? Jesus even said there will be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, and men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then they shall see the sign of the coming of the Son of Man. So lift up your heads, look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. In other words, there's something, if you read Jesus' words in Luke 21, it's as if he's saying there's something going to happen, there's something coming. And does NASA know it's coming? Are they trying to escape the judgment of God? Are they trying to escape the face of Jesus Christ? Are they trying to escape the destruction of planet Earth? Well, it's as if they are. And uh, we will continue to monitor what they're doing as well as what the New World Order is doing <clears throat> with the depopulization uh, plan that they seem to have in play. And all of these things are pointing to the coming of Jesus Christ. They'll never get it done. NASA will never get it done. Christ will come first. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.